Welcome back to the 100k podcast, season three, episode two. We're back on the greasy pod. Here we are, boys. Yeah, that's next week. Hey, good to be back, boys. Uh, Jeff, big day yesterday. Hello, mate. The swans are in the fucking grand final, up and about. And but unfortunately, my vacuum cleaner broke. So I took it back to the store, they fixed it up, they bought it back and it's got a Cowboys jersey on and now it sucks again. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the <joint. laughs> That's good. Lewis, how are you, bloke? I'm full, big, but happy to be here. Now, you are still on your weight loss journey, Lou. Correct. Um, what were you weighing in at? I believe 93.9 was last week. And what are you now? 94.1. <laughs> we just okay. We have so gone up. 200 grams, but lower than when we started. At week zero, at 94.6. You're in a surplus. It's one of the most unbelievable weight loss journeys. It's it's when are we going to start to see the needle start to tick downwards? Uh, we worked with Jeb on Friday. I'm supposed to be on a diet. Smoko was $34. <laughs> Jez was 37 It's not a great indication of the weight loss journey. But Jesus. starting to look better in the face, I think. <laughs> I agree. You stood on the scales and just said too heavy. It's not giving you a number. Oh, that's good, Lou. Hey, really good. Hey, last hey. week, boys... We got to do really well. 19 out of 24 legs. We ran it 76%. Uh, Jeb, some good legs. Good legs. Uh, what did I have? I don't even know what I had. <laughs> yeah, Armin Rasek, Brown, 50 receiving yards. That hit. Jonathan Taylor, any yard, any time at 100 yards. That hit. Um, Nick Chubb, over 74 and a half yards. That was my steak and eggs, and that hit. They were all good, Luke. Yeah, I reckon we, we did much better than 76%, I reckon, Darcy, even though that was obviously the number. Um, I went 100%, actually. We're in a new system. Go, that, so that's the first of the week. So we each do eight bets. One person gets nine, just depending on the legs. And yeah, I hit all. So I had Hill for 50, AJ Brown for 60, Jags plus nine and a half. Darcy, you were nervous. So it was I for a little bit there. Yeah. They covered nicely. Keenan Allen for 50. Had a, I had a good week. You had a very good week. I went six from eight, so 75% on the season. But unfortunately, I did lose my steak and eggs. So Alvin Kamara... Over 90.5, he didn't get anywhere near it, but Pittman was good for 50, Baker Mayfield good, Tay Adams, which we love guys, he was two bucks, he was in there, Mahomes threw for a heavy yards, Justin Jefferson, we had him for 60, I think he had 180 yeah, yards and two tuds, and Kirk Cousins obviously throwing the ball. Other one I missed out on though was Dak, All right, he did go off injured, uh, I think he would have got there in the end. It's not on you. Um, happy to announce as well, we asked last week for people to send in what they wanted the punishment to be. Yeah. We did mention the possibility of a 24-hour Macca's stint. And most people just sent in and said had to do the Maccas. So that is it. So it's 24 hours. Lou's asked to spend 24 hours at Brayside Maccas in Dingley. The only way to get out of it quicker, every Big Mac you eat gets your half hour off is the clock. Is it a meal or just a burger? Just the burger. Just every Big Mac gets your half hour off the clock. So if you're having 10 Big Macs, which I reckon you can do, what's that, probably getting five hours off. You're still looking at 17 hours in Maccas. <laughs> um, that's going to be the punishment. It's going to be very funny. God, that is long. Right now, I'm the one behind. I only went five from eight, so yeah, I'm losing more than 100%. But you did lose your steak and eggs, so I'll have to work out what that means because yeah. I hit mine. But yeah, that's good. Hey, really good start. I love it. Now, boys, we also have the Gems Pyramid. Obviously, massive hit in the AFL season, so we're going to bring it back. Are you just doing quarterback? Just quarterback? Just quarterback pyramid. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to wait till after AFL Grand Finals done, and then we're going to get right into NFL season and release the first pyramid. And also, because we know everyone's going to be tuning into this as soon as we post it, but the Brownlow is on tonight. The Brownlow Shark. Obviously, we did our AFL predictions pod, um, and then pretty much he's done all the work this year. He had his spreadsheets. So just a quick recap. He has Lockie Neal winning on 27, Clayton Oliver second on 26, Tuke Miller on 25, Paddy Cripps on 24, and then Andrew Brayshaw on 23. So they all go down by one vote each, but his best bet was Lockie Neal, Quinella, into Clayton Oliver, so they can finish any order. That was his best bet. That was at Let's 350. Go. So we've got one Great unit on that, which is 500. So <laughs> let's hope that gets up and uh, we have a really good one. Also, we're looking at college game days. Uh, we think we're 11 from 13. 11 from 13. 13. I think up 6.5 units you are, Darcy, on your tips. So which follow the tips next week. It's huge. All right, boys, let's get into it. Washington and the Lions. Jeb, anything? Yeah, give me DeAndre Swift. Give me DeAndre Swift for... Only 40 yards at a dollar twenty-four. Not to be short, but it'll win, and that's why it's short in the hundred k. His line is sixty and a half. Last week he had hundred and forty-four. Like he dominated. He, was, he did roll his ankle at the end, but he was dominant. He'll play. He'll get over forty rushing yards. They love to run with him. They've got a good O line to he's, that he can run behind. So that is my first leg. DeAndre Swift forty yards at a dollar twenty-four, and for eighty, as I said, he had hundred and forty-four last week for eighty rushing yards. He's at three dollars thirty-five. For Is 80. he cheap? Yeah, he had 144 last week. You can get him 335 for 80. They're going to run all over Washington. Are they going to run it all over him? It's just whether how his ankle pulls up. But I absolutely love him for 80 to 335. Fuck! I'm in trouble! 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 I'm in trouble
Ah! I'm taking him for 40 to dollar 24. That would hit. Give him one run. 100%. Fuck. That's cool, Jeff. Use that. Um, am I am I missing something here? I I got Carson Wentz here for 225 passing yards at a dollar 41. He had a better return to form than Delta Goodrum last week. It was honestly unbelievable. He was, he, he was a deep ball maestro. I don't understand. He had 27 from 41, 313 in the air. Nice little relationship as well with Scary Terry and Dotson, the, the rookie. Uh, also, interesting to be the last three Lions games have hit the over, which yeah. is, I see points, so I see yards. Yeah. Do I reckon $1.41 is a great bet? Great bet. Well done. Hey, hey, good stuff, boys. boys. Hey, I'll just take you off the... Hey, this is the first time, I think, in... Uh, yeah, he said like 27 games that the Lions are actually favourite. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy for them. Mm. They got mm. minus half a point, so they're not super favourites, but <laughs> still at home. Hey, well on the Lions. I won't be taking anything in this one. Next game, boys, Jets versus Browns. Uh, Jets actually getting the points plus six and a half. Mm. For those at home wondering. Ooh, I like the Browns for that. Give me my man, Nick Chubb. Let's go. What did we say last week? Under Chicago set, the Browns are going to run on first down, they're going to run on second down, they're going to run on third down. He absolutely dominated last week, Nick Chubb. He was my stake in eggs, and the line was only 72 and a half, and it absolutely shitted him. Yep. His line's 82 and a half. I think it's an absolute lock, but I'm only taking him for 70 yards at $1.49. This will probably win by half time. I got sucked into taking him any time touchdown last week, and Kareem Hunt came on in the red zone and pumped mm. in two tuds. Yep. So I'm staying away from the any time ch for Chubb till I see it. But over 70 yards, absolute lock. They will run all over the Jets and absolutely dominate they them. Will. Nick Chubb, 70 yards, $1.49 loan. Love that. Love that, Jeff, that you've learned as well from last week. Yep. Leave me out for the end time. Nothing from, from me, device. No, I won't be taking anything. I accidentally wrote the Browse, not the not the Browns. So Jets versus Browse. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's really sharp stuff. I won't be taking anything in this game, boys. <laughs> Next game, Tampa and the Saints. Jeffrey, you got another one for us? Yeah. Why do NFL players wear helmets, Dars? Safety to stop Tom Brady kissing the other players on the lips. <laughs> Nothing from me. <laughs> you looks. Right, I'll be taking a little bit of that T-bone 225 because he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So Tom Brady, one, Tom Brady for two and a half kisses. No, just all we need him is for over 1.5 tuds. So right. he just needs to throw two tuds. That's at a dollar fifty nine. My steak and eggs. You only had one last week, so you better believe he's going to have two. Divisional game. <laughs> You're hitting it that hard. Steak and eggs. Come Tom, on. Tom Brady, this is my lock of the week. Lock him up. 0-4. Oh. Oh, oh his last four against the Saints. Huh? 0-4. Oh no. Are you the hottie you do? Yeah, the you do. I like it. Yeah, that's exactly what we intend to do this week. Now, boys, next game. Panthers versus Giants. Jeff, your game. Yeah, fuck it. Do we have anyone? No, nah, don't even really bet. The Giants are 1-0. It's been a long time since we've been 1-0. 2016. We beat the Panthers and we go 2-0. Do you reckon there's a chance to ask the Giants could be 4-0? I know it's looking ahead, I know it's going to be tighter. We beat the Panthers and we're 2-0. After that, we got Cowboys without Dak and then Chicago Bears, the worst team in the league. Oh, fucking can't We could be fucking 4-0, the yeah. Giants. We have not been good for that long. If we're, and I thought we were going to be the worst team in the comp. If we're 4-0, I'll be one happy man. So up the Giants. No bets for me, Lewis. Yeah, I got Christian McCaffrey, 25 receiving. So $1.24. You only had 24 last week, so I know it's a little bit interesting data. Saw some footage, Jeb, of the New York Giants O-line. They were unbelievable, some oh, of their yeah. rookies. Just pushing blokes around. And that's why Saquon had a few chunk plays. I reckon Baker would just look for McCaffrey in the checkdowns. I reckon this will hit by probably quarter time. $1.24, absolutely love this bet. I can love that. On the back of that, Morgs, I'll also be taking Christian McCaffrey for 50 rushing yards like at $1.47. Like uh, look, he only had the 10 attempts last week for 33 yards, but good players bounce back. Look, it does scare me a little bit, Jeff, because your Giants defense was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Like, pretty good, but pretty tough on I think he's pretty elusive. He, uh, the last time that he did play them, he had just over 58 yards on 17 attempts. So they love to give him his chances. I really think he will hit back. And then also taking Bay Baker Mayfield for 200 plus passing yards. He hit it last week. The only other time he did play the Giants, I know it's irrelevant now, but he had 297 yards, two touchdowns. Um, so, yeah, there's some salary. <laughs> Next, like say it again. Next game. Next game. <laughs> no. We have Pats, Pats and Steelers. Oh my. Uh, you know, I refuse to bet on the Pats. I reckon they're going to be a four-win team. I reckon they're absolutely horrible, and I do not know why they're favourites in this game. It's it's at Pittsburgh. The Steelers were actually pretty good against the Bengals. The Steelers' defense was unbelievable. Even if TJ Watt doesn't play, which he won't, I still like Steelers to win at two dollars eighteen. No bet for me in the 100k pod, just Steelers to win if I was Lewis. Yeah, leaving this right alone, does. I'm leaving this alone as well, boys. Now, next one, Colts and Jags. Jeb, I believe your man will be featuring yeah. once again. And once again. So, when I bet any time, you're going to know they're scoring. And Jonathan Taylor is fucking scoring. He's the best offensive player in the league. Oh, well, some might say Justin Jefferson. This man is a stud. He's only going to get better and better as the season goes on. Jonathan Taylor, anytime touchdown, $1.54. 
Jonathan Taylor, 90 yards at $1.57. Last week, he absolutely shattered in. He had over his 100 yards and he had a touchdown. He had 160 yards last week. Like, he's a fucking gun. Bell he's cow. against the Jags. He'll be ready to go. They want to win as well. So, Jonathan Taylor, anytime. Jonathan Taylor, 90 yards. Both my bets in the 100K. Lewis. Love that. Nothing for me in the 100K, but I love the Jags plus nine and a half dust. At home, make them a home dog. Put that in your multis. Into that sort of 335 for 80 yards into Swift, maybe. Plus three, nine and a half there. I thought the Colts would actually really want this one back because this is the game they lost to miss out on playoffs Correct. last year. So I reckon they're going to really try and come back and piece them by 17 points. Would you give me nine and a half? Sure. Half a rack of ribs at Squires? Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I need to get that rib, <laughs> I need to get those rib, rib back down. All right, boys, next I'll game. Down, Dolphins yeah. and Ravens. Jeb, do you have anything? I do. I got Tyreek Hill 50 yards. Yep. Last week he had 94 yards, eight catches, 12 targets. If he's getting 12 targets every game, or even 10 or even eight, he's easily getting his 50 yards. Yep. He only needs three targets, two catches to get 50 yards. So we'll gobble this up, $1. twenty-nine. That is in my 100K, Lewis. Yeah, nothing again in the 100K, but I do want to share. I reckon we found this year's Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore was one of those blokes you pay him for having a dollar uh, uh, 25 passing yards, and you get like a dollar 40 every week. Yeah. Devin Duvernay last week had two touchdowns, only 40 receiving yards, but he's under he's under over for receiving is 27 and a half. So it's not in the multi, but I reckon that's a great multi into maybe Jags nine and a half into that sort of 335. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> so building a on. piping hot treble here. <laughs> Look out for Devin Duvernay. Have him in your in your multiples. Oh, I like that. Now, Jeb, I won't be taking anything, but on your Tyreek Hill. Look, they've paid him to come over. He's a big-time player. Scores a lot of touchdowns. He'll eventually score. He's got to score one soon. Tyreek Hill for an any time is $2.65, which is a lot of money. I can't believe how much that is. Seeing as like other guys like Tay Adams, I think... $1.45. Yeah, $1.40, which is so short. The fact that Tyreek Hill is two sixty five, I think is ridiculous. They've got it wrong. I reckon he'll score this week, but it didn't feature in this week's multi. But I'd be teasing that. Potentially in into... That's sort of a strange half rack Alright, boys, next game Falcons and the Rams. Dev, do you have anything? No, nah, nothing, mate, Dave. Nothing, Dave. I'll be taking Matt Stafford 250 yards in the air at $1.42. Uh, he averages 311 yards on the Falcons in his nine times that he's played them. And then Cooper Cup for 80 at $1.40. Last week he had 128. He's just fucking he's ridiculous. Just he's the number one. He'll just keep feeding him the ball. I think we win by a fair bit. So Rams also win his my lock of the week as well, as apart from the Tom Brady. Now, next game, boys, we're flying through them. Seattle and the 49ers. Debo, rushing and receiving. Mm. The line is 85 and a half. And you better fucking believe This is my second oh. This is my bet of the week. 85 and a half. Debo mm. Samuel. I'm going over. And I'm going over and over and over. This will look more like 120. This was 120 and a half. I'll be going over. He had 66 all-purpose yards last week in a monsoon. In an absolute monsoon. They, this is an already must-win game for the 49ers. Or Trey Lance is on the chopping block. Uh, put it in your best player's hands. Let him run wild. He'll absolutely dominate this game. He'll have over 100 yards and a tad. It's about a dollar eighty for a tad. He'll get that. They'll put it in his hands. This will hit. Steak and eggs. Yes, please. Lewis Morgan. No, thank you. Thank you. No more bets. No more bets for me either. Boys, next game. Bengals and Cowboys. Who's taking some? Since he win. Dallas stink. Walls. Uh, I had to, I'm cheating a bit this week, but... Stake and fucking eggs. Oh. Plus one and a half touchdowns. Last week he threw for two, very late. He should have thrown for three. They didn't do the review on the thing. He had five turnovers as well. So they, they lost. But I fucking love this bet. I feel like I'm cheating though. I'm only getting a dollar fifty, but it is an under over bet, so I'm able to use it for my staking eggs. This will not be a dollar fifty for long. It's either gonna go to two and a half, which it did late last year. Yeah. They need to fix this. I love this bet more than I love lasagna, honestly. Um, Sorry, I said it in Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Stake it eggs. I fucking love this bet. This will hit by half time. Get it in dollar fifty. Uh, and because it's a one-off bet, no one else can take a bet in that game. So we'll just be we'll be running Joey Burrow. <laughs> That's good. I don't mind that. All right, boys. Next game: Texans and Broncos. Jeff, yeah, I just rusted to be a dork. Is there a big loser in the league? He's a fucking dork. <laughs> Give him a go. Yeah, I got a little piping got treble for us. It's in the multi, you got three legs. So I really like them with this game. They lost to Seattle, who played like the 85 Bears. That was honestly their, that was their fucking grand final. They won't play better than that all year. Uh, they had two goal, uh, goal line stops. They honestly should have won by 17 or 20 points. Taking Denver money line, dollar twenty. Yep. Taking Javante Williams anytime. He looked really good last week. Yeah. Only the 40 yards, but he looked good and he should have scored and fumbled. 
into Russ. I don't understand this. 225 passing yards for $1.45. He had 42 pass attempts last week. Yeah. And Matt Ryan threw for 352 last week against the Texans through the air. So 225 at $1.45 is, yeah. uh, is I, remarkable. I, I that same game, that. it's honestly... Smash that. I love that. I like that. Responsibly. Really, 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 all three, that piping hot travel. What up, Mox? Thank That's you. Good gambling. Good gambling. Yeah. All right, next game, boys. Cardinals and the Raiders. Jeff, you got anything? No, nah, nothing. But I did I did hear a funny stat. Kyler Murray is 4-7 and seven when Cod has a 2XP weekend. He had one last week and he laid a fucking egg. He's actually 18-6 and six when there's a non-2XP again. And there's a new Cod that came out yesterday. So back the Raiders to win is all I'm saying. It's not the 100K, but he stinks. That is, that is hilarious <laughs> that there's actually stats on this shit. Uh, not in the 100k. I like him for 25 rushing yards. Though. We had him in last year's 100k, uh, last week's 100k. You can't bet on it just yet. I reckon in about an hour or so, you should be able to sneak <laughs> one on. So get it in your personals. Well done. Yeah, no, boys, I won't be taking anything in this game, but I will be in the next, boys. <laughs> Bears and Packers. Jeffrey, who do you no, like? Nothing. Just Packers. Packers just win, don't they? It's, they need a win. So. Yeah, I've got Packers minus three and a half, though. I really like the Packers this week. I think it's a bounce back spot. Yeah. A lot of talk about their receivers. They had uh, Christian was it Watson, Watson, who dropped that the first play. I reckon so, if he yeah. catches that, could be a different game. Yeah, I, I just reckon they're going to run all over the Bears. I really do. Three and a half. I'll take I'll eat all of those points. Yeah, I'll be taking some of that running as well. So Thank I'll you. be taking Aaron Jones for 40 plus rushing yards. He was a almost a staple for us last year. And that's at a mm. dollar thirty. Forty yards is not a lot at all. You look at all the other uh big running backs. Obviously he does share the load with AJ Dillon, but I definitely think he get, gets that. Averages well over forty as well against the Bears and he's eight and one. So we know oh, how yeah. good Green Bay do against them. Uh this is at home and as Morgs did say, it is a big bounce back game. Uh, next game, boys, we got Titans and the Bills, Sunday Night Football. You got anyone? I do. I wrote, uh, so we love our over-under bets. I got Josh Allen over 1.5 passing oh, yeah. tuds at a dollar forty-seven. This will be 2.5 by next week. Oh, so take the over 1.5 because he'll throw about three and then it's going to 2.5. And, you know, I love betting on Derrick Henry, but I'm not touching Der- Derrick Henry until I see it. Thought he looked a bit slow and a little bit old last, last week against the Giants. So he'll come good, definitely, and then we'll start betting on him. And then just saying that last week, last year, week two against the Seahawks, he had 183 yards and two tuds. Mm. Three tuds, sorry. Three tuds. So who knows? He might get going this week. But yeah, Josh Allen over 1.5 passing tuds. Lou. I love that league, Jeff. No bets 100k wise, but I love the build. I think it's minus nine and a half. Dart. I believe so, yeah. I absolutely love that. I think this could be ugly. Oh, I actually like tuds. I think Buffalo, yeah, oh, that line's like spot on. It's, it's such a fucking good line. Do so you think it's going to be like fucking yeah. 38? I reckon they might win by like 17, 18, 19. Wow. Jesus. It'll be a good game either way. Now, boys, we are into Monday Night Football, the final game on the slate. Vikings versus the Eagles, two teams that really impressed week one, Jeb. You must have some legs in this game. Have you yeah. done all your legs? Yeah, I got two. Oh, I'm just going AJ Brown for 60 yards mm. at $1.44. Similar, similar bet to who I had before. I had Tyreek Hill. Yeah, AJ mm-hmm. Brown. He had 13 targets, 10 catches, and 155. He yards. looked good. He looked real good. He looked like Jalen's number one man. He, so for 60 yards, really, he needs four catches basically, and turn those targets nine targets. Yeah, he's getting 10 targets. He's easily getting 60 yards. So I love that at dollar 44. Look, great bet. Um, Jalen Hurts for me, he would have been in the 100k All-American last year, no doubt about it. We bet on him that many times. Last week he had 17 rushing attempts as a quarterback. Which is fuck. We love him for rushing attempts as a quarterback. He's still getting a dollar forty-five. Is it gonna keep creeping in? But a dollar forty-five for 40 rushing yards, 17 rushing attempts with 90 yards and a tud on the ground last week. Absolutely love this. Jalen Hurts, gobble this up, please. I think he'll be running as well. If you watch the Packers game, the Vikings day really got after him. So I reckon he will have to scramble. Right. Right. That is a great bet. Boys, I'll be taking Justin Jefferson for 70 plus yards. Uh, is it a $1.27, which is still a fair mm. bit. Last week he had nine receptions, 184 yards and two tuds. Um, he, when he did come out at the start of the year and Kevin O'Connell first went there, he's like, now I know why Cooper Cup was always open. Like he literally said that. He's like, now I get ways. Because every time you look at the screen, he reckons this year is going to be the year that he pops. I think they're going to be throwing it a lot. And as well as that, Kirk Cousins for 250 mm. plus passing. Adds it $1.37. Um, last week, two, had 277 yards, two TDs. Uh, I've got a few other stats here, but he pretty much does like to play the Eagles. He's 6-3 and three in his career, over 2,700 yards in those nine games as well, and also including 21 touchdowns. So the only thing, knock against him, is he's 
pretty shitty primetime games. Yes, but exactly. we will see what sort of Kirk does show up on Monday, but I think that they're going to throw the fuck out of it. So that is the multi, boys. Okay. This is 25 legs. Jeb, do you want to read this out? Yeah, I'd love to. What do we have to put on it? You have to outlay eleven dollars ten to Same win that, one hundred thousand dollars. Let's go. Carson Wentz two twenty five. DeAndre Swift forty yards. Nick Chubb seventy rushing yards. Tom Brady over one point five passing tuds. Baker Mayfield two hundred passing yards. Christian McCaffrey fifty rushing yards. Christian McCaffrey twenty five receiving yards. Jonathan Taylor ninety yards and a touchdown. Tyreek Hill fifty yards. Matt Stafford two hundred fifty passing yards. Cooper Cup eighty receiving yards. Mm. Debo Samuel, over 85 and a half, all-purpose yards. Joe Burrow, over 1.5 passing tuds. Denver Broncos to win. Russell Wilson, 225 passing yards. Javante Williams, anytime. Zach Ertz for 25 receiving yards. Did you say that? No, I didn't. That's a great league, though. <laughs> That's, That's your fantastic league. league. Zach Ertz, 25 receiving yards. Green Bay, minus three and a half. Aaron Jones for 40 rushing yards. <laughs> Josh Allen, over 1.5 passing tuds. Here we go now. Jalen Hurts for 40 rushing yards. Kirk Cousins, 250 alt passing yards. Justin Jefferson, 70 receiving yards. And AJ Brown... 60 receiving yards. Let's go. Here we go, Ben. Oh, that is easily our best bet we've ever put on. Yeah, sure. This is the most common I've ever been in our 100k bet. That is an absolute fucking great bet. Uh, last week, we went hard on the treble, so every mm -hmm. leg you could, you could treble on sports bet. And we actually won some good money last mm -hmm. week, so okay. if you got a bit of cash, even doubles, doubles. we're going to give you a lot of winners here. So if, even if the 100k doesn't get up, yeah. we're going to win at least 100% yeah. We're going to win at least 21 legs here, so yeah, yeah let's go. Hey, Ash. Next week. Fuck, we're gonna fucking dominate. Oh, it's the There's so many fucking good rivals. Also, Brownlow time, make sure you get on. Uh, Crips wins tonight. Rams easy. Rams by 17. Pretty cute, Giants 21 17. Chile!